All right. Well, thank you for, for uh, tuning in here and, and hearing a little bit about what's going on. I wanted to, to get together with Steve because our rising sixth graders, our fifth graders will be going up to sixth grade. Right. And this past Sunday, Steve was able to meet with some of them, but not all of you were able to meet. And so I thought it'd be a cool idea to, to sit down here in Steve's office, which by the way, I know it's always open for you to come yep. by and, and meet him and, and talk and just hang out for a little while. Um, get some candy. Um, and so, uh, yeah, you, you got candy right here. That, that always full. Um, but I thought it'd be really cool for us to uh, kind of interview Steve, ask him a few questions about uh, what you parents need to know uh, with your rising sixth grader. Um, leaving children's ministry is always a scary moment, especially if it's your first child going into middle school. What's, what's expected? What are they going to run into? Um, what do I need to do? How do, do I need to be involved? Do I need to back off? What's, what's my role as a parent when it comes to uh, a rising sixth grader and this handoff transition? So um, here today, I just want to take just a few minutes to be able to let Steve tell you what to expect. Um, so Steve, right now they came up this past Sunday and met with you and and you were able to sh share with them a little bit about what Sunday morning looks like. Yeah. So let's start there. What does a Sunday morning look like for a sixth grader? For a sixth grader. So on August 4th, mm -hmm. that's the day they'll actually come up. Uh, they'll transition. You will come to the old gym because that's where middle school life groups take place. That's kind of our start spot. Okay. When they walk through the door of the of the of what we call the JWAC, uh, they will sign in on the computers. There are three laptops there. And they'll sign in on those computers. They will not get a name tag. No more, so name, no tags. more name tags. Remember that, parents. No, no more, more name tags. tags. Some of you are celebrating. That's I don't right. Have to, that's right. I don't have to keep they, up the name tags. That's tag. right. They will sign themselves in. Okay. Um, and then as they walk into the gym, they will see a round table with their grade. Okay. Like if they're, if they're a sixth grade girl, they'll find a sixth grade girl's table and grab a seat. Okay. Uh, or if they're a sixth grade guy, same thing. And at that table will be a a tribe tracker. I wish I had one with me. It's a little, it's a little booklet that we make every week that has announcements for the week. So parents, it's really good to ask about the tribe tracker because it can keep you informed. It not only has the announcement for what's coming up that week or that month or that mm -hmm. quarter, but it also has the lesson in okay. it. And that lesson has a quiet time connected to it for the for the week after. Okay. Very important tool that we give them. So if you would uh, make it a habit to ask them for that, that would be huge. And so we meet together for the first 15, 20 minutes, um, usually on the hour at 8 o'clock or 9.30 or 11, a five-minute countdown starts. There's lots of stuff going on in the room. There's basketball. There's gaga ball. And if you don't know what Gaga Ball is, you will know, really, because it's awesome. Yeah, and ask your people, kid, though. Your kid knows because that's what they did. That's exactly right. They love kids. They love Gaga Ball. Gaga Ball is awesome. And ping pong and just mm -hmm. people sitting down doing stuff. But the, when the countdown's over, we gather together, we go over some announcements, and we do an opener for the, for the lesson. And then after the opener, we pray and we dismiss them to their life groups. Okay. And they go to life groups. Uh, there'll be usually two. In, at 8 o'clock, there's one class, and it's kind of co cool because there's three or four people in that class. 9.30 is our big hour, and we have about two uh, two groups for each grade and gender. So there's okay. two sixth grade girls, two seventh grade girl classes, two eighth grade girl classes. We uh, have about the same for the guys. There's, I think, one uh, sixth grade or two sixth grade guys classes, but we break them up that way with an adult leader. Okay. And they go to classes. They go to classrooms. The guys stay in the gym. Girls at 9.30 go to classrooms. Okay. 11 o'clock. Uh, it's a little smaller group, but it's not as small as eight o'clock. We have about we have one girls class, and we have uh, three guy classes because right now we have more guys at eleven o'clock. Okay, and so that's how that works. Okay, so um, that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense for me. And, and one of the quick things I want to answer is in children's ministry, you're kind of expected or hoped that you'll go to two different hours. That yes. you do a, a kids worship hour, two fifty two, and then do a life group on either the eight or the eleven o'clock hour. Mm -hmm. Um, or go to, go to adult worship, um, but with middle school, that, that kind of changes, and so I, I want to make sure, Steve, yeah. uh, we highlight that, that what the expect, expectation yes. is of that. If, if you come to uh, a worship service, parents, if you come to a worship service and you go to a life group, we are asking that your student go with you to worship service and then go to life groups the hour you go to life groups. And if, and if parents, if you're, if you're checking this out, 
and you only come to a worship service, this is something that's a little different. We are asking you to bring your student or take your student to the worship service with you. And we would encourage you to see if you can fold a little more time in your Sunday morning and find a life group to get connected to so they also can get connected. Mm -hmm. But going to the worship service with you as, as parents and the family, it's, it's a priority for us, and so we, we encourage that. Absolutely. So um, as we get ready to, to transition and thinking about um, Wednesday nights, is that is that pretty similar? Is there a different location for them on yes. Wednesday night? On Wednesday nights, we actually meet in the student center, okay. which is below Sossaman Chapel, and it's the it's our youth room. And so Wednesday night, the middle school ministry called The Tribe, that's, who we, that's our label, um, we have the student center, Doors usually open between 5.30 and 6, and when I say that, they can come anytime in there. Uh, but food starts to happen about 5.45 or 6 o'clock. There's pizza, there's chips, there's candy, there's a snack shack. Cost of for food is about $2.50. Get your pizza, chips, and a drink, or pizza and a drink. Uh, candies are a dollar, stuff like that. Um, and so that happens until about 6.45. Okay. There's hanging out, gaga ball, ping pong, video games, just sitting around talking, chatting, lots of stuff going on. Um, at 6.45, countdown hits the screen, and we start a worship service. We'll involve prayer, uh, singing, and our students uh, are majorly involved in the band and the mm -hmm. singing part. So if your student is, a, is likes music or wants to like music, mm -hmm. uh, you, can, you can connect with that. I think you're a little better than that. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. it is. Let's see I, if we're still there. Maybe we can edit that out. That's right. That's right. And so, so Wednesday night is a worship service geared for and with middle school students. Okay. So we're in the Word, we're singing the Word, we're praying, uh, we're responding. It's just it's a it's a worship service. And our students, uh, like I said, are involved in all the music. They read scripture. They pray. Uh, many of them share the gospel. We train them to do that just mm -hmm. so they can have an opportunity to do that. That's the whole awesome. Yeah. So. One last thing before we go. If I'm a parent and I say, okay, what is my role here? A lot of times with children's ministry, the role is very involved. We want you to do it. And it may still be that with, with middle school too, but it may look a little different mm -hmm. uh, for a middle schooler. So what, mm -hmm. what is it that you would say, parents, we want you to what? We want you to feel like you can be as involved in the tribe ministry as you want to. Okay. Um, it's our desire because our desire is, uh, to help our students to see that you're the primary minister to them mm -hmm. and we're just your partners in ministry um, and so if you want to be connected in small groups or event ministry or Wednesday nights we have a place for you uh, and we would encourage you to be a part of that um, another part is to remember I, I want to partner and equip you the best way I can uh, I mean I have two sons mm -hmm. 123 and 120 and uh and been doing this just a little while <laughs> and i just want to come alongside you and help you in any way possible and so your role is is parent and i just i want to help you absolutely be the best parent you can absolutely well thank you for your time today and and listen if you have any questions i know yeah. you can reach out to steve Please his do. his email is there on the church website you can reach out to me uh, mine's on the church website too um pam if you have a question that reaches all the way back to preschool um, and wonder why we did what we did to get us here um maybe pam can also help that but our hope and, and goal like steve said is to partner with you and so that's what today's all about again call us email us whatever we can mm -hmm. do to help you and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you all, not this Sunday, but next Sunday, the, what is that? The, the 4th. 4th, 4th of, of August. August. And that's when all this stuff begins to happen on that Sunday morning. Um, and so we're looking forward to, to, to seeing your kids uh, move into this new phase and transition. Um, so thanks for being a part of this with us.